Um, the next visa type that I'm going to talk about is the business investment visa. How many people here are planning to start their own companies? Right. Okay. The test for approval for a business investment visa is you need to show you can make a substantial contribution to the economy of Hong Kong. And in many ways, that's like asking how long is a piece of string. But there are certain themes that present themselves in every approved investment visa application. And these are, I call them the three legs of the approvability stool. And these are, you need to have a clear pathway to the creation of local employment opportunities. You need to have suitable business premises. And you need to have resources. Both resources in terms of funding resources and the other types of resources that would normally be present that are driving you to make the investment decision in Hong Kong in the first place. Now it used to be, until a month ago, you could go to the immigration department with all of those approval criteria in the bag as it were and say I'm going to achieve these outcomes over 12 months. But as of uh, two or three weeks ago in actual fact the immigration department said no, we don't buy that anymore. If you want an investment visa, you've got to achieve these outcomes in six months. Because what's been happening is that applicants in the past have been going along with their approval criteria in hand and saying, I'm going to do it over 12 months. And then as soon as they get the approval, they move into lean mode and they don't invest any of that money. They keep it sitting in the bank account as long as they possibly can, hanging on to that money because it represents their runway and all the rest of this kind of good stuff. And then when it, times, when it comes time for the extension at the end of 12 months in the Immigration Department review the performance of these businesses, they can see that actually this act of investment which underpins the issue of the visa in the first place isn't happening. They've got good reasons for it at the extension time and as long as you've got a really good reason for why it hasn't happened, they won't deny you your extension. They'll put your feet to the fire, of course, but they will extend you for another year and they'll subject you to business review at the end of that year. <coughs> so, um, we've just discovered through uh, our practice that the Immigration Department are not buying into that any longer. Now you need to be able to show that your business plan is going to be effectively implemented from the investment perspective within six months and you have to have your first local employee at least on board by month six and you have to have your office properly set up by month six. Um, and the difficulty is that, you know, you come out of a program like this, for example, and you've got an idea for what you want to accomplish, and, and perhaps you can't realistically expect to achieve those objectives in six months, particularly if you're going to be doing the coding yourself. You need to get to an MVP, and by the time you get to the MVP, you're nine, twelve months into it. Even if you've got all the other approval criteria in play, the Immigration Department are not going to approve you. So it's gotten a lot tougher out there, I'm afraid to say. A lot tougher. Yep. So um, I'll talk about that perhaps in a little bit more detail when you have questions, because if you talk about your plans, I can uh, give you the assessment as to how that might impact on your circumstances. But yeah, whilst the Immigration Department are showing flexibility in terms of the employment visa for um, young, talented, old, talented, um, tech technologists, uh, when it comes to the business investment visa, unfortunately, we haven't seen any adjustments to policy that would accommodate the startup situation. Now, that doesn't mean it's always going to be like this. There could be changes. The Immigration Department never announced what they're doing until they've made the decision and they implement it. Uh, it just appears on the website one day, and that's it. That's, that's the most that anybody ever gets to know. They, unfortunately, they don't call me up in advance and say, hey, you know, we're going to change our policy so next month you can start telling your clients that, uh, that things are going to get easier. But that's the problem with the business investment visa. Um, just from 39,000 feet, the kind of resources that are needed, half a million Hong Kong dollars available to you, uh, normally that ticks that box. Your CV, your prior experience is a decent resource. If you've got, if somebody's commissioned you to produce a piece of work and from that project there's going to be ongoing um, uh, opportunities for you to service that project. All of that is a good resource. So as I said earlier, all the kinds of things that you would have present in your um, plan that are driving you to make the investment decision in the first place, these are all deemed the kind of resources Immigration Department expect to see. 
to produce a, a sustainable business, a business that will go on to become a solidly entrenched commercial enterprise. Thank you.